Good morning and welcome to the black and white messages. 3.96 billion. That's the number of people who use social media in this world. On an average, global internet users spend around two hours on social media, while in the United States, we spend more than 2.3 hours daily on social media. Nielsen research shows that an average American spends a staggering 11 hours and 54 minutes each day connected to some form of media, whether it's smartphone or TV or radio or games. So like never before in human history, the human mind is being bombarded with information. And one of the pertinent questions we ask is, who are we to trust and how capable are we to process and discern the plethora of informations coming to us at breakneck speed? Now, if we trust in ourselves to discern the truth and follow it, then we will end up entangled in all the lies or the half-truth that are generated by the media. We can easily be manipulated by other people. Whether it's CNN or Fox News, they are in the business of playing with human minds. The truth is our emotions cannot be trusted. The Bible says the heart is deceitful above all other things and desperately wicked who can know it. So when our emotions are manipulated, we respond exactly the way the media wants us to respond. So if you and I are going to entrust our lives and future to someone, it may be a good idea that social media is not that someone. We better choose someone who has our best interest, who has a plan for our lives. And God's word says, I know the plan I have for you. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. See, the devil has a plot for us. When God has a plan for us, the devil knows the plot he has for us. Plot to tear us down, plot to harm us, plot to steal all hope and future from us. That's exactly the opposite of God's plan in our life. I'm not saying all media is bad, but it has a way of dragging us down, of entangling us, of playing with our emotions and controlling our responses and choices we make in our life. Each day, Voices all around us are trying to get our attention to trust in them. But there's only one voice you can trust that will always, that will always give you hope and a future. And I hope and pray that that voice that you trust today and from now onwards would be the voice that God reveals himself through the scriptures so some of the questions we would ask ourselves is, how much of time are we spending on God's words? How much of time are we spending in prayer and in meditation? That could be a new form of fasting. A fasting with a resolve not to spend so much time on social media or, or in any kind of media, but instead of that, using that time to spend on God's word and in prayer and in meditation. And to have a relationship with him so that he could reveal his plans in our life and that we are led by his spirit and his presence rather than by our own selfish emotions and what the world wants to entrust upon us. I hope this message is a blessing to you. God bless.